Hey gorgeous, welcome to my wedding corner where I just have all the wedding stuff that I don't know what to do with yet. <laughs> I guess we also have the wedding corner in the shower that I'm not gonna deal with right now. <laughs> Cause I haven't been dealing with it for months and it's just gonna stay there. Anyway, this week in wedding planning, we haven't really done much. So on Tuesday, there were a couple things. Uh, a friend of mine sent me a couple, a couple TikToks of dance moves for our first dance, but I haven't showed Jake yet. I'm gonna wait until our next like wedding planning night. And the only other stuff I had planned was to look for a wedding cup. And I looked through on websites and there were some that were okay, but they mostly were pretty expensive. And we already have a goblet I mentioned in my last video. So I think we're just going to do that. It looks nice. It'll work out just fine. So I kind of gave up on looking for a, a wedding goblet thing. And it was also just on me, which I haven't done this yet, but I want to look for a, a boudoir outfit for the <laughs> boudoir photo shoot. So that was just a few things that I needed to do, and yeah, Jake didn't really have to have input on it. So wedding-wise, all we really did was, I talked about it with a friend yesterday, a friend, also a bridesmaid, who I haven't seen for a couple months, she came over with her husband yesterday, and it was funny, we just sort of broke off, and her husband and Jake came downstairs here, and they were just talking about programming the whole time, while me and my friend Gabby were upstairs just talking a mile a minute, catching up, figuring everything out, like, that we, that we've missed out on over our time, like, apart, and it was really nice, and obviously, like, the wedding ends up coming up, because it's just one of those big life events that comes up in conversation, and she is such a sweetheart, so, like, from the bottom of her heart, she's, she's a giving person, she's always been like that, and she's, she's such an amazing person, and so I would just bring stuff up, and it was sort of in the vein of, like, when I mentioned the, the dress situation to my mom and she offered to get me a dress. And I was like, Mom, no, like, I've made peace with that. Don't worry about it. Um, Gabby did the same thing when I mentioned I wasn't having flowers. And she said, oh, well, I've, I've made flower arrangements. And she's like showing me pictures. And she said, I could make this if you want. I could do that. And I said, no, I've made my peace. I don't, we don't need flowers. It's totally fine. But I appreciate so much that she wants to do that. But she's also offered so many other things. She's, she's very crafty, very creative. And so they have a 3D printer, so she said, if there's anything you want 3D printed, we will do that. She offered her cry cut, so I, I did ask her, oh, could you just print off our names and our wedding date to put on that little officiant book? And she said, yes, I'll definitely do that. And she offered to make me a little, like, shawl for my wedding dress, since our wedding is might be in a colder month. Well, depending. You never know with where we live if it's going to actually be warm or if it's going to be cold. But she offered to do that. And all this stuff, I'm like, you... Do not have to feel obligated. I I feel like I say that all the time, and I think it comes off as wishy-washy, but I just don't want anyone to stress out about my wedding as much as I stress out about the wedding. So I'm just like, if you can't do it, don't worry about it. But it would be absolutely lovely, and I know she really wants to do it because she's getting into crochet, so she wants to like keep working on it, and she wants to keep working on all these other pursuits that she has. And she has her own business where she makes candles and other stuff. I don't know if she still makes, she made this like lip balm that I really liked, but I don't know if she makes that anymore. I think they're focusing only on candles. And they made jewelry and I wore like a pair of earrings I got from her in, in our engagement pictures. She's just, she's really good at what she does and I love it. Anyway, so wedding wise, that's about all that's happened. We haven't really done much this week and that's totally fine. It's been kind of like a, ugh, like after all of the craziness that there's been, it's been nice to just sort of hang out. Although me and Jake did have to have a conversation because this was, he actually brought this up. So I've been so gung-ho about wedding planning. And then now like we've been going out and seeing people and we've been doing a bunch of other things and going places. And we're, we're like, we got used to our pandemic life where we just sort of sat next to each other on our computers and did our own thing. And then when we had extra time, we would hang out. But now we're losing out on that extra time because we're going to see people. And also when I was working late. So we were just kind of like, Jake. Jake was just like, we're, we're not hanging out anymore. We really need to plan date nights or something. Like, we need to hang out together. And I feel like it's crazy that I didn't think about that. Because it seems like such an important thing for a relationship. To just, like, not forget your future spouse and all of this. But you sometimes get so focused on, like, the wedding and the people who are there to support you 
and the things that you need to get done and all these details that you just sort of get sucked in and you forget what it's all about. I think I might have mentioned this too in a past video where it's just like, what am I doing? This whole thing is about me and Jake and I just was totally neglecting our time together. We still haven't figured out exactly how to rectify that. I'm thinking we'll probably just, how we have like our wedding nights where we just plan wedding stuff, we'll probably also have to plan one or two nights a week where we just have a date night and hang out. Because it's not like we never see each other, so like, I go to work, I come home, and on, on my way home from work we usually talk for like half an hour while I'm driving, because I'll be driving and he'll be making dinner, so like we're both sort of busy, but then we can catch up on our day. And we have dinner together, but then yeah, we just sort of like go separate, and I think the issue is I, I like to do too many things, so I'll be reading books, I'll be writing something, I'll be going over wedding stuff, and Jake will just be bored. He'll just be on his computer like, what's there to do, and just kind of waiting for me to get done so that we can hang out together. But then I find a million things to do and I'm never done. So I need to just take some of the stress off my plate. And for like those wedding nights, maybe I should make a night for myself where like it's only wedding. Like maybe I should have those be my wedding night and I just don't plan wedding outside of that. Which is hard because I'm an anxious person. So I think about the stuff constantly like before bed I'll be like worried about something or there's all sorts of factors, but maybe for myself and it will also help the both of us if I just pick one or two nights a week where I focus on it and don't do that outside of it that would be helpful in our relationship because like I said I have I have also other interests outside of the wedding it's not like it's only wedding planning all the time but with the wedding on top of my other stuff I'm lacking like hours of free time every day probably like an hour or two of free time every day so that's a good idea and yeah, just plenty of date nights. So I don't know if this is a common issue. Are, are you other people having this issue where you're sort of like getting thrown into it and then you're not having time for your partner? Because it feels like a crazy issue to have. And I sort of feel really, well, not sort of, I feel really guilty having this issue because I wasn't even really thinking about it. It also, like I said, this issue came up after having weekends away from home and after me working late. So I think that really exacerbated the situation more than it has been previously but yeah it's also like it's not i don't think it's a cause for concern currently but it's definitely something that we need to work out and if if anybody else is feeling this way just know you're not alone it's i think it just happens when you're focused on just anything like not even just wedding planning but if you had like a big career change or if you had like you know a move or something big in your life sometimes you lose sight of the people who are the closest to you who matter the most to you and you just sort of I don't know if it's take them for granted but you're used to them always being there so you sort of forget you need to nurture that connection all the time especially like now I'm going out with other people so I'm like trying to get all my other connections back in place because it's been so long since I've seen people in person it's a very strange dilemma to have honestly because I used to keep all of this up very easily right like before I wasn't seeing people, I, you know, I saw one group of friends every week and I saw another friend, like some of my friends who live further away, I saw them maybe like once every month or two still. And I'm, I'm very bad at texting people, so I need to see people in person or I'm just kind of a flake, which not good, but I know that's a, an issue I have. And I do try to like force myself to text people because I know I'm bad at it. So, yeah. I don't know if that ramble was actually any help for the situation, but I feel a little better about it, sort of brainstorming what we can do to make it less of an issue for us. Because yeah, we definitely, we always have shows we could watch, we always have movies we can watch together, we could always play games together, and we just aren't doing it. And I really should just de-stress and do those things instead of making myself so busy all the time. I'm just stressing myself out for, I guess... I don't know if it's not a good reason, but there are things I stress out about I don't need to stress out about. There are a lot of things about wedding planning that you, like, all these details that you need to pick. And at the end of the day, no one's really gonna care as long as they are there and they have food and they have, like, like, I was even talking to, to when I was talking to Gabby about how I invited a lot of people, but a lot of my aunts and uncles and cousins, like, 
we're not super close. Like, they're mostly coming because it's, it's kind of like a family reunion, really. Like, that's how most of the weddings my siblings have had have been, where everybody's kind of there to hang out with each other. And they'll maybe give me, like, a quick hi, congratulations. But they're mostly there to see the other people that they're also closer to. So I'm sort of just, you know, a reason for a family reunion. And this, I'm sure this is different for other people, but that's how it sort of is to me. So I obviously I, I want to say hi to everybody. I want everybody to have a good time. But at the end of the day, what, what's that like? There's an article. It's like your wedding is not a show or something. Or it's kind of like everybody's sort of there to have a good time. And they'll have fun regardless of if I like... I don't know, whatever details that I don't have, like regardless of my flowers, regardless of if I personally say hi to everybody, which I'm definitely going to try to do, but with so many people, it might be difficult. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff that you stress about that probably doesn't need to be stressed over. And I am just word vomiting. So I'm going to cut myself off and just say, at the end of it, just like, remember your spouse, remember what this wedding is for and try to make time for each other. Even if it seems really difficult, even if you're very stressed out, like, just sit on the couch and watch a movie. Like, it's not even, you don't have to be, of course, communicating, talking face-to-face -face is very important, but even just, like, that quality time aspect, like, Jake's love language is physical touch. So if we just, like, sat on the couch and, like, our shoulders were together or I put my head in his lap, he'd be a happy camper. And I just, that's something I need to do for him. Whereas, you know, I think for me, I get... I'm like a mix of words of affirmation and acts of service and Jake delivers on like in all aspects of that and I need to do more delivering on my end. So just don't forget your spouse. Don't forget why you're getting married. And yeah, that's like really, I don't know, crappy advice. <laughs> that's just like, well, duh. But I don't know. Sometimes you lose sight of things when you're bombarded with all this like you know, wedding information, all these articles, all these, like, you know, I'm getting, like, emails from random places. I go on Reddit all the time, and I, you know, I see things on my front page about other people's weddings, and then you get sort of in this, like, oh, they're doing this, I kind of want to do that, but oh my gosh, I don't have time, and I need to do this, and, but it's like, do I need to do that? No. I need to focus on myself, focus on my relationship, and get that all squared away, because that's the important thing. Okay, I'm done for real. <laughs> I'll see you again in another video. I hope you guys are having a good time wedding planning, if you are wedding planning currently, and that you are spending a lot of time with your significant other and just making the best of the situation. Because you're only engaged, hopefully, you're only engaged once, and this is a time that you should be enjoying and not stressing over, which is easier said than done, but try to make time for it in your day-to-day. -day. Bye, I'll see you in another video.